Well, when it comes to state roads, 17 ODOT trucks tackle 730 lane miles just in Mahoning County, and that means a lot of hours behind the wheel. 27 First News reporter Jira Ricciuti got a first-hand look at what it takes to do their job. Veteran ODOT plow driver Randy Kish knows clearing away the snow, like what fell overnight and this morning, is a time-intensive process. <laughs> I've done a couple 16s like this week. Working his route on I-680 between Midlothian and Youngstown and the I-80 split in Austintown, Randy can hear it's busy elsewhere as well. Can't believe you have a semi stuck on Gypsy at 7-Eleven coming up the hill. As he manipulates the controls for his plow blade, he slows down to get around others who are stuck in the deep snow on the sides of the freeway. He also slows when crossing overpasses to avoid having all that heavy mess fall on vehicles below. Randy says the biggest problems he and other plow operators face are the drivers who don't leave them enough room to do their jobs. We got a cars that want to get right up next to us. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just not the best thing in the world. We try to ask the drivers to stay out of the way of the plows. That way they can get their job done. Mahoney County engineer Pat Janetti tells me moving all this wet, heavy snow means plow drivers need to keep up a good pace. So it's difficult sometimes when the truck's moving fully loaded to stop if a car is in front of them going too slow or to get out of the way. Drivers also need to be careful when trying to pass plows on the right into the path of the snow that's being thrown off to the side. That hits your windshield. Sometimes your wipers may not be able to get it off. Uh, you know, it could cause an accident. Janetti says his 20 drivers spent about four hours on the roads last night and were back at it at four this morning telling me they will stay on the job this evening until they're finished. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.